accepted as an inalienable fundamental right of every Indian citizen. Thank you, madam. Okay. Dr. K. K. Surra. Thank you, madam. Before I really get into the bill, huh? let me say one thing to Mr. Patnaik. It is true that the Supreme Court had given the judgment. Hence, there is no need for the bill according to you. But yet, we have not passed any legislation at all. The states have not taken cognizance of what the Supreme Court has said. What Supreme Court said, the states have not taken. We are not under the uh, para three of the Constitution. Still, it continues to be a state subject. Therefore, a bill like this, if it makes the, it uh, a fundamental right and brings under para three, then there is a scope for the states to step in. Then it would help the states. This exactly. Not necessary. Not necessary. Not necessary at all because we are talking here ex of three things. One is conditions. Number two, the fund, funds. Number two, the funds and the accessibility. These three things are entirely different. They depend on the, the domain of the states. Anyhow, I only wanted to say it is very true that the Supreme Court had said and there is not much to talk about about a national policy, but nonetheless there must be. Madam, I am born, I have a right to birth, to birth. When I have a right to birth, I must have a right to life. That is there already. You need not give me through a legislation. So, life to, right to life when it is there. It is interesting with the life, right to health. These two things are intertwined. You cannot separate them. That is exactly what the very spirit of this bill is. Once you agree to first one, the second one automatically, since it follows, let us understand what exactly it needs. Today, you have said right to education. It is betterment of the life. You have said something about uh, developmental activities, corporate activities, infrastructure activities. They are betterment of the life. So the bill today talks fundamentally about the, what exactly the life wants it. Then you know, the bill has tried to be comprehensive, tried to take many things into the question, but nonetheless it does suffer from few deficiencies. It is true, it is, you can't expect a very comprehensive bill because the more as Bill himself said, I'm apprehensive whether to be passed or not. He says, I'm apprehensive whether to be accepted by your, the government or not. But question is whether they accepted or not. The very fact what you are trying to say or what this house is trying to say, our focus is a point that the government must take cognizance of and try to incorporate them, let them into their policy. Formulas, formulas. That is what exactly the, uh, our point of view is. That is why, therefore, I am getting into 21 as a fundamental thing and the right to life being a part of 21. Yet we want this as a right so that the legislation, there is a scope for legislation by the state and the centre can do it, legislate without disturbing the state rights. Then you have Article 39, 42 and 47, all these. They are, they are taken care of once you make this uh, right to life a, 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 a law. Madam, question is, I would talk about, uh, I want to, there are three things. One is when uh, we talk about the bill, we talk about the bill fundamentally because we must talk about the law, talk about the spirit of the bill. But my learned friend from other side, wanted to talk about politics, they have a right to talk. But let us not politicize health. The subject of health is something which need not be politicized or looked into partisan factor. The Lancet said, that, see, Lancet, what Lancet said, what advertisement Lancet got, is another matter. It, is, it has nothing to do with it. Although the chairman, chairman might agree, when this is a member who is talking about it, and Aishman, we have also, uh, before getting the bill, I would like to tell a few points. Aishman, even in Telangana, has not fully accepted. But Telangana today does have, has in policy, we have made eight government medical colleges. We have, we have promised that 50% of our districts, that is out of 13, 15, but today we have again taken eight districts, we have identified them where we have specialities like AIMS and NIMS. 
this our uh, medical minister knows, and we are there. We know we are not getting funds, but it is an obligation of the state to do it, and we are doing it on our own. That is why it takes me to the funding. Funding system is something what the mover of the bill wanted to say, though he did not stretch much. At the section 7 about which he talked is about funding. That is what exactly the concern of the entire House today is. You need funds. Today, the allocation is 1.4% of the GDP as far as the budget of the centre is concerned. And even the economic survey wanted it to be 25 to 3 which we, at least I personally feel, is wrong. It should be 6% as far as education and medical is concerned. Because these are the two things which should be the concern of the state governments. They are the concern of the government. The other things follow, do follow, and the people themselves will take it up. But these two things, the people can't take themselves. So it should, the fund should go from 1.4 to your own promise of 3% as you are saying in these things. Sir, I'm talking about the things. Uh, now, in section two, he said individual. And individual, he said, the citizens of India. Mani is the same by bind up kariye. Ka do minute ka time tha. Panch minute liye chup. Mainab yehi yehi to mushkil hai. Health ka problem aata hai, do minute ho jata hai. Okay, okay. Sawaal A, ka ek subject bhi, ek word bhi, ek sentence bhi, agar chha bill ke badzar, agar bahar mein baat kya to, Jebi bhi jab bitha dijiye, mein bhi jata hu. To sawaal kya hai? Number two mein, section two mein, members of the individual. Individual means citizen of India. See, ours is such a big, great, great country. We need not only look when we are talking about the right to health and health facilities, universal health care, that we have baat kare, he has just gone to international conference, and even WHO says, this can be to anyone. It need not be citizen of India. As long as he is living in India, he should be, he should be entitled to the health care. That should be said. So section two is something which I, I have an objection to. Madam, in that section 10.2, he talked about pollution very little. But there is nothing at all about pollution. But that is a problem. There is a very big problem. Pollution should be a special attention of the minister today is present. I'm telling you, the way the Delhi is going, turning out to be polluted city of the world, we must do something with regard to it. Although the bill doesn't speak about pollution, those spoke about it, but did not give the details to himself. Then he has talked about the conditions. He gave, he tried to attempt on conditions that are necessary, but gave seven or eight conditions. They are not enough. Conditions are many, but he only hinted at that. So let the minister understand the conditions mean something which comes to your view. You have with you, all the, the entire subject, the entire domain is with you. So you understand the difficulties and then you can bring it. So don't just look to the bill as such and say these are the conditions of which we are talking. Now, that is section 5 I am talking about. Now, section 5H about the government's help that is necessary for famines and other things. I think it is such a big the canvas that the more of the bill wanted to bring in, but it's such a big thing that they can't be made judicial, judiciable always. They are, they are few subjects which can't be made judiciable that the government will do. Why I'm talking with details about the section by section is, please don't take it easy. This is a very serious subject. Whether you accept it or not, accept the spirit of the bill, accept the very content of the bill, Try to see if not today, tomorrow in your policy formulations. When you formulate your policies, bring these things because our concern, the concern of the citizen is only two, health and education. Education you are trying to do. And don't, I don't know why this says that the moment the, the opposition gets up, you think we are all opposed to you and you are all opposed to your policies. Honorable that is member, very wrong. Honorable member. You see, when you do wrong, Honourable Member, wrong. we need to conclude. But you, you can't tolerate it. Another matter. We need to conclude. But anything. So, anything, sir. So let me tell you. I am reminding you why the importance of the bill is this. You understand, water is the real thing. Today, something like 2 lakh people die every year of the water. I am telling you, though it is not brought under the bill, I wanted to... Then you have the such and 
septage management, 90% of our deaths are due to this. That also must come in. So sanitation, public health should come under the public care system. Fifth and most important of all, though I will not to, is the expenditure that we do on medical. 61% of the expenditure of an ordinary family, say middle class family, is on health. And 68 69% of the expenditure on health by you, by the central government or the state government, is, for, is paid by this private man. It is private. So it is you are paying. So please kindly see how much of a burden it is on the people. So to relieve them, you must step in in a big way and see that the insurance scheme that you are trying to talk about, not Aishman, whatever insurance scheme, you bring in all people and you bring in all individuals in respect of this decision. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Shri John Bittu.